Guys, ours Chaos Master Brian here. How's it going? I was requested to do a specific video, um, so I am going to do this video because I thought it was a pretty good idea. Um, I will be showing you guys which is my favorite Dragon Box overall, and then I'm going to show you which one is my favorite U.S. Dragon Box overall, and I'm going to tell you why as well. So, with that intro, start. video though um i just want to say that uh i have been extremely busy i apologize for not putting up any videos pretty much this whole month uh it's just been brutal it's obvious that we're getting close to the holiday season because i just have not had much time off at all at, from walgreens um and just not that much time to make videos i'll make as many videos as i can during the months of november and december but if my account's not that active, I do apologize. I'll try to get up what I can. I can guarantee you, though, that I will be doing a video that shows what I got for Christmas. So I think that will be quite enjoyable. Um, I guess a quick update for my anime collection. I got Fairy Tale Volume 12 and 13. That came in the mail on... Uh, Friday and then season 8 is here as well so yeah and then I've never seen this before but it was only five bucks at Walmart and it looked kind of neat so I decided to pick it up the best of Goku seven fights seven episodes five bucks not too bad but with that back to the video so, I was asked, what is my favorite Dragon Box? This is my favorite Dragon Box. Got a couple different reasons for that. One, because this design is just amazing. The red is just so vibrant. It has a glossy, you know, appearance to it. Um, the Japanese Dragon Boxes are huge. Uh, they don't even have... A Dragon Ball in US so the Dragon Ball Dragon Box does not exist in the US hopefully that changes at some point but if it doesn't at least I have something comparable to it um, Dragon Ball is not my favorite series though Z is however uh, I really do like um, oh, let me pull this up to continue this video I really like like the background of this, the circle there having an image just like the Z Dragon Box except for the Z Dragon Box is the whole circle I believe as opposed to just a little circle. I think design wise this just looks better. Um, I'll go into here for reference real fast when we get to You know, when we get to episode 133 on, this is my favorite part of Dragon Ball because it becomes very much like Z. The Budokai Tenkaichi tournament, I'm not sure what number it is, but it's my favorite of the Dragon Ball arc. And the art is great in this. On Goku, yeah. 
This is my favorite dragon box overall. Like I said, design-wise, it just is amazing. And it's just a really nice product. And then getting the diorama that's up there is just an added bonus. So... If you could only get one Japanese Dragon Box, this would be the one I would recommend. So, that's part one of this video. Uh, let me just slide all this stuff back in here real fast. thing the, the Japanese dragon boxes are just gigantic they're enormous they feel like a substantial item to add to any Dragon Ball collectors collection Z or Dragon Ball so now the second part my favorite US dragon box is this one and believe it or not this is actually the cheapest dragon box there is now, why is this one my favorite? Well, it has to do with the episodes. My favorite arc of Z is the Cell Saga, by far. And this happens to have the Cell Saga. Or, or the Cell Games, I'm sorry. Cell Games, but it's part of the Cell Saga. I was very pleased that Go. This is the first, believe it or not, this is the first U.S. release that had Gohan on the front. There was not another U.S. release that had Gohan on the front of it. The Orange Bricks had Super Saiyan Goku on the front of Volume 6. So that was great that Gohan finally got on the front of a cover of uh, Dragon Ball material. So that's a little bit of information that maybe you didn't know. Uh, he was also on the front of the single release DVD uh, of Super Saiyan 2, but... As far as a season collection goes, more than just a few episodes, this was the first one to have Gohan on the front of it. I just thought that was a very interesting little fact for you guys. Uh, the discs are just awesome. I love the art, especially this one. SSJ2, Gohan, or SS2, however you want to refer to it. SS2 American, SSJ2 where the J stands for, um, well, SSJ2 stands for Saiyajin, as opposed to Saiyan, but, yeah. Uh, comes with this really nice dragon book. Look at the, look at this book. It's just awesome. The art is awesome on the outside of it. There is no art in the Japanese Dragon Book that looks like this. This was specifically designed for the US release. So this cover is phenomenal. Gohan, Gohan, Gohan. A lot of Gohan focus, which is what it should be. Uh, I'm, I kind of wish that the chart was not this. I wish it would have been from the Cell Saga, but these episodes are in there too, so I understand why that is, but at the same time, it would have been better if it was the Cell Games, a uh, character chart from the Cell Games. The Dell, the perfect box, yeah, episode, guide, more Gohan, Gohan, Gohan. It's great having a Dragon Box focused around Gohan. So for that I give it a thumbs up. Uh, rating wise, the Dragon Box is US, whichever one you pick up, is a 9 out of 10. Um, they're just awesome, phenomenal. Still wish, I wish at this point of the release, when they released this set, Blu-ray was starting to take an effect. Um, and become a format that was becoming more standard. It wasn't the standard format that it is now. 
but I, I wish they would have printed these on Blu-ray discs as opposed to DVDs just for the um, longevity of the set because Blu-rays are scratch resistant due to the six layers that are on a Blu-ray. Just an interesting fact. Or they're more scratch resistant uh, than DVDs. So, yeah. But a great set overall. Highly recommended. If you can only own one Dragon Ball Z Dragon Box, go with five. The Cell games will not disappoint. Um, the only gripe I do have about this is they use the Japanese music for the score for the uh, U.S. Um, dub. However, they did not use Spirit vs. Spirit track during Gohan's transformation, which is upsetting because that was part of the Japanese music. And not only is it part of the Japanese music, but in my opinion, it is the best uh, overall theme in the whole series. Actually, in the whole continuation of Dragon Ball. There is not a theme that is better, in my opinion. Even if you if you go to the U.S. score, there there's nothing that holds a candle to Spirit vs. Spirit. Um, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, it's in many of my videos, including my top uh, anime uh, scores of all time. So, yes. That's the only gripe I have about this set. And I don't think we'll ever get a release that has Spirit vs. Spirit in the background for uh, English dub, which is a darn shame. But, um, other than that, I hope you found this video informative. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you later, YouTube. Thanks. Bye.